what is going on guys grave here today i'd like to talk about the new aftermarket parts that will be available in modern warfare 3 in season one there'll be nine new parts in total some available at the launch of season one and some available of course during the mid-season update before i get into all the details be sure to check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course if you enjoy the video hit the like button and if you have not subscribed to the channel I hope you consider subscribing. The first uh, one that I want to talk about, of course, is the Jack Purifier. This will be compatible with the MCW, the MTZ556, the Holger 556, the DG56, the SVA545, the Ram 7, the MTZ762, the BASB, the Sidewinder, and the Riveter. This will be an underbarrel attachment and it will be an underbarrel flamethrower. So that's going to be something I think a lot of people will be interested in trying out. The next uh, option we have for aftermarket parts is going to be the Jack Glasses Optic. Now, we do not know what this will be compatible with. They have not announced what weapons this will be usable on, but it's going to be a small uh, glassless reflect optic that offers a crisp, clear sight picture for snappy target acquisition. Now, if we kind of look at the optic we received in the preseason that's available on a lot of the weapons but i'm not sure if this is going to be available on everything or not just yet but i am interested to see exactly what this will offer because i do like the optic from the season uh, or the preseason the only issue i have with that is having that built-in laser and that laser is visible to enemies when you're ads or not so uh, this one might be a little bit better we'll have to wait and see then we have the beholder rifle kit which will be compatible with the TYR. This is a long heavy barrel that offers the best increased range, improves recoil control and damage range, converting this handgun into a single shot rifle. Then we have the Jack BRB which will be available it says on many assault rifles, submachine guns, battle rifles, marksman rifles and sniper rifles. It's going to be a muzzle. It says go loud. This compensator borders on excessive offering a phenomenal reduction to recoil while significantly increasing muzzle uh, report, resulting in an extended red dot on enemy radars. So this one sounds like it could be really good. I had made a video not long ago talking about how I felt like a lot of the aftermarket parts, as much as they were kind of hyped up, they were a little bit disappointing. It really did not help a lot of the guns. It, it hindered them more in some ways than helping. And this right here sounds like it could be something that a lot of people would really like to use if it really does give you that great reduction in recoil and it really does make the gun perform better and not really hurting it in a lot of different areas. Then we have the Jack Bullseye, which of course the uh, compatibility will be announced as another optic type. This is a very low profile dot optic. Uh, limited interface from framework offers an exceptional clear sight picture. And of course, it's kind of like the other dot we talked about. We're not quite sure what weapons those are all going to be available on, but those really clear sight pictures are really nice. The only thing is we already have a lot of good red dots in game. There's a lot of dots that are available in Modern Warfare 3 that were good, a lot that you can you know transfer over from MW2 that are really good. And these are going to have to really do something or be really, really good uh, just sight picture-wise to really want to use these over what we already have available you, that you can use that you can use on any available weapon that we already have or you know for something like i said from mw2 you know that's a really good sight picture a lot of people have their favorites from mw3 a lot of people have their favorites from mw2 and i'm just not sure if these red dots are really going to bring enough to be something that somebody wants to use all the time compared to what they're already using right now then we have the double barrel uh, kit for the jack and that's going to be for the, uh, the Jack Double Barrel Kitter, excuse me, the AMR9. This is available for the AMR9 SMG. This kit creates two stack barrels that fire simultaneously. This offers twice as much downrange damage at the cost of some accuracy. Then we have the Jack Single Burst. This will be for the Holger 556. This is going to be a weapon conversion kit that designs for accuracy and controllability with four round bursts, which does sound pretty interesting to me. Now the Holger 556 to get a bit of a nerf, it was probably the best AR in the game at right when the game was released. And I still would say you probably can put it in the top three right now. But one thing is a lot of people think that it's a little bit inaccurate or maybe sometimes it has a little bit too much side to side, you know, recoil, whatever the case could be. 
and a lot of the four round burst guns in game, even though, uh, you know, some of them right now are still really good, even though ha they have been nerfed, the burst rifles. I feel like eventually that the DG 56 is going to get nerfed again. And it would be nice to have something uh, like this available to us because I think the holder in burst mode could be potentially really good. And then we have the Jack Thunder LMG kit, which will be available with the Sidewinder. It says dominate lanes and hold objectives with this LMG conversion kit of the Sidewinder battle rifle that brings a large capacity mag and ramps up the fire rate the longer you hold down, of course, the trigger. Then last but not least, we have the Jack Headhunter Carbine Conversion Kit, which is compatible with the Rival 9. This is a, a Rival Assault Rifle with the three-round burst conversion kit that excels at mid-range combat. Now, I feel that the Rival 9 is probably the best sub, in my opinion at least, at mid-range, but this will be interesting kind of an addition to see if this is actually worth using, if it makes this better at that mid to longer ranges compared to what it is now. And really, if it fires quickly enough, if it's something that you, you know, if you have a fast uh, trigger finger, uh, you know, while firing, you're able to get off a lot of bursts quickly. This will be even good up close. We'll kind of have to just wait and see on that. But overall, these conversion kits sound very unique, very neat. I'm just not sure how good they're going to be. We'll kind of have to wait and see. Hopefully, they're going to be better than what we have right now. Because I do feel like a lot of them right now are a little bit disappointing. I feel like some of the guns really are hindered by the kits more than helped but i'm hoping that you know sledgehammer is working on that and wanting to make these kits kind of like what they hyped them up to be when they first talked about them before the game was released something that you know once you max out a gun you get everything unlocked it's something you can work toward with some challenges to make the gun even better than it was so leave me a comment with your thoughts of course i'll catch you all next time peace